What's up everybody? We just finished up in Disney World. That's our four days there on day five, our vacation. And we're here at Universal, as you can see. Uh, it's crazy busy. Weather's not too bad. A little overcast, which means it could be a little bit cooler. It's supposed to rain a little bit later today. But I can see the blue skies, the clouds starting to part away. So hopefully, hopefully it'll be a great day. And we got fast passes for the entire day. So that's freaking awesome, right? And I totally love that. Uh, so instead of like three fast passes, you got fast passes for the entire day. Can't wait. Harry Potter World, here we come. A ton of roller coasters. Can't wait. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a great day. We only got one day, so we gotta pack it in all at once. Hey guys, just did the mummy ride. Oh my god. Uh, if you like the darkness and if you like fire and special effects and smoke and all that stuff and surprise twist at the end, totally worth going to check out. For sure, one of the best rides here so far. We got a few more to hit. Welcome recruits. Your tour is about to begin. It is I. Optimus Prime. Hey guys, just finished up in Transformers. It's a great 3D ride if you like that kind of thing. Uh, smoke, graphics, special effects, all that great stuff. Uh, it's a fun ride, totally off if you totally a diehard Transformers fan. Hey guys, just did the Rip Ride Rocket in Universal. My god, it is so quick, so fast. Uh, when they crank you up, you're just like 90 degrees looking straight up into the air. And then you get this like small, tiny pause and bang, you're like right in the ride. Sudden drops, twists, turns, spins. Uh, no loops, thank god, but that'll come soon. Uh, it's gonna be so much more fun. Some more rides, one down. We also did uh, the Minions ride as well, so that's two. Uh, much more to come, and we haven't even been to Hogwarts yet, so I can't wait. I'm so excited. Guys, I'm back just for another quick tip. Uh, I usually bring a backpack and then my shoulder bag as well just to keep all my electronics and stuff like that, my camera and my gimbal. But uh, at Universal, they, a lot of these rides are crazy. They have like huge, gigantic, big, huge dips. Uh, you're doing rolls and stuff like that, you're suspended. So you don't take a backpack with you, or you shouldn't. But if you want to, you want to get those souvenirs, you can actually find the day-long lockers. Those are actually found at the entrance of the main Universal part of the part of the attractions and stuff like that so if you go right through the entrance and you usually go to your right there's like a ton of lockers there actually but there's only just a few it's really tucked away everybody forgets about all about it um, but the cool thing about it is that you can actually put it there for 10 bucks US you can actually pack all your things there go in and out all day long uh, after an hour and a half after the park closes they empty everything out so you got a lot of time so 10 bucks is totally worth it because if you go to the ones at the rides it's maximum of $20 per day and it's only about a half an hour for three dollars and that's really expensive after a while so i just take this tiny little pack with me carries everything i possibly need and for every ride they're really considerate about that so it's free you can drop your bag off and uh, enjoy the ride make sure you have nothing in your pockets cell phones keys uh, loose change or anything like that enjoy your ride usually i just keep my ticket a couple a little bit of cash nothing i usually try not to bring a belt so i don't set off the alarms or anything like that and yeah just have fun be safe Stay hydrated, it's pretty damn hot here. Remember guys, always stay hydrated when you're uh, in a place like this, especially when you're walking around doing a lot of rides, just taking in the scenery. Don't hate, hydrate, as always. Thanks.
up guys? Just came out with Simpsons Ride. Uh, it's fun. It's one of those like, uh, get the screen in front of you and all that stuff. Takes you up and down and all that. No loops or anything like that. What you want to do is sit in the front row for sure. You get the best view that way. Sit in the back. Maybe next time we'll go front row. But it was an experience to have. Gotta check it out. Hey guys, just a little trick and tip. Uh, if you go into the park, and if you just walk right past Shrek and then you go right to the meet and greet where you can meet the donkey and Shrek and stuff like that, if you go to this tiny little corner, you can actually see this tiny door. Yeah, if you pay with your American Express like my wife and I did, uh, you can actually get into the lounge there. It's nice and quiet, there's water, snacks and stuff like that. Place to recharge your uh, your phone and stuff like that, So, or your recording devices. That's totally awesome, you can totally do that. It's worth taking a look, especially if you're going to be in the park for an entire day or a couple of days. It's one of those things just to take a look at. It's hidden away, it's like one tiny door I had to ask. Three people where it was and yeah, it's there. It's uh, open from 12 o'clock to 5 o'clock. So please don't expect it to be open like first thing in the morning and then super late at night. If you can, rechar recharge in the middle of the day and that'll totally help you out. Hey guys, just finished with uh, the Jurassic Park ride at Universal. It's actually just as good as I remember. It's old classic. Definitely have to check this one out. You got a little bit wet here and there. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as I, I thought it was gonna be. So everything survived. I survived, my pack survived, all of this survived. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get to the next one already. Hey guys, just came out of Kong. Uh, it's fun, it's fantastic. It's like a little bit of like a jungle tour, and special effects, and then they have like the animatronic Kong at the end. It's awesome. Gotta, gotta check it out when you're here. It's one of the old classics, and it's always gonna be one of those things I'm always gonna do when I get here. Hey you guys, just finished up in the Spider-Man ride. Sorry, quick pick, quick peek through Marvel, should I say. Just to head through a couple of the stores. Well, I did one ride, we're not feeling too great. It's also the end of the day, so we're pretty tired. Heading into Dr. Seuss. This should be cool. Maybe it looks pretty good at night, because uh, I have never been yet. So it'll be a first for both of us.